This is Eugene Hanrikovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com and I'm the laptop screen doc and today we're going to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba NB505 netbook computer. Um, this shouldn't be too hard. It's a 10.1 inch LED screen. So what we need to do is remove the plastic frame and then get to the screen itself. The plastic frame is secured by two screws which are hidden behind some plastic covers that we have to remove and then we snap the plastic frame off. So here's the tools that we're going to be using. We're going to be using an X-Acto knife with a pointed end, a pair of metal tweezers to extract screws if we need to, and a small electronic screwdriver with a pH 1 bit, or I'm sorry, pH 0 bit that's on there right now, and a bigger pH 1 bit. So we'll start with the pH 1 bit actually. Alright, the first thing we need to do is remove the plastic covers from the screws, like so. And what I like to do with those plastic covers is put them on the frame so I don't lose them, like so. And then we use our screwdriver with the PH1 bit to remove the screw. Okay, and one, and two. Almost there. Left hand is more difficult than right hand. I'm learning to be ambidextrous to make better videos. Okay, next step is to remove the plastic frame and it's snapped on there. So what I like to do is reach with my fingertips on the screen side and gently pull up and listen for the snapping sounds. If I hear snapping sounds, that's a good sound. Sign. That means the screen is coming off and we slowly work our way around the screen. If one part doesn't give, just go to the next part until you find a part that gives and eventually you'll get the whole screen. So go like this, like this, and it's almost off. And tilt it forward and the plastic frame is off. Alright, now we have the screen exposed and we see what needs to be done to remove the screen from the metal mounting brackets that are on the side. So let's put these screws in the pile, like so. And let's look at the screen. So yeah, these screws are pretty easy to get to. There's two screws on each side that mount the screen on the metal mounting brackets. Sometimes they're hard to get to. You have to do some more tricks, but in this case it's pretty easy. So we reach in with our screwdriver. One. And put them in a separate pile from the previous screws. They're different size. Two. Okay, be careful with this wire that's running next to it. Try not to damage it. I think that's for the webcam actually, so be gentle there. And so this is the fourth screw. Alright, so these screws are kind of hard to take out. So what we're going to do is use our tweezers to take these screws out and make sure that the whole back screen assembly is tilted back when you do this so the screen just doesn't fall forward on you because it might damage some connectors on the back. Okay, now once we do that, we gently tilt the screen forward, make sure it comes out. It's something stuck there, so we... Looks like we have some adhesive on the back. So we gently push it back and release the adhesive and it's released. 
Okay, this is a bit unusual that there's adhesive to the back lid. Usually there's adhesive on this side. So just be careful when you tilt it forward. And the screen has one connector. And the connector is secured by some adhesive tape. We use our exacto blade. You can also use a razor blade to lift up the adhesive tape. And oftentimes there's adhesive on the back of the cable too, so we lift that up. Okay, now when we're ready, we just pull the connector back and it's off. Alright, so this screen is off now. This is a 10.1 inch LED screen. This is the exact same type of screen that most netbooks as of early 2011 use. The connector is on the bottom left. And the finish, depending on the netbook, it can either be glossy or matte. So there's no rhyme or reason to that. So when you order it, you don't really know if you can get glossy or matte finish unless it's specifically stated. Okay, let's take a look at the part number. It's B. 101KW03. So when you do your search on Google or eBay or wherever for the screen, that's all you need to know is B101AW03. screen AW03. And then most likely you won't get the exact same part number when it does come in. You get a compatible screen and that will fit exactly like this. So um, just make sure the connector is on this side and most likely it will be and that's it. And to put it back in, you just reverse the procedure and um, put everything back and your laptop should be as good as new. And that's it. And thank you very much. My name is Eugene Panrinkovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.